Cybos 2019 saw the debut of the Spotlight stage. And this is a platform with a difference. It brings together worldwide leading financial experts in quick fire presentations, talking about the latest trends, including open banking. I've got some good news and bad news. Good news is everyone says open banking is amazing, it's going to transform the world. Bad news is no one can tell you how. Let's face it, when we talk open banking, it's a big threat to many people. If they run technology, if they run operations, if they run something, well, one thing is for sure, and that is it's going to change. It used to be bank against bank. Fintechs came along and it was still fintech against bank against bank. Nowadays, we see fintechs becoming collaborative. We see big banks wanting to be platform players. Customers are more than ever willing to share their financial data with third parties if they perceive there's a benefit to be gained from that. Now we are curating experiences for our customers. It's not that data is the new oil, it's the new money. One of the main talking points on the spotlight stage was cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is not like putting a good alarm on your car, it's not occasional attacks. It's like having an absolute bloody maniac in the boot of your car who wants to kill you all the time 24-7. An army of one will not win a cyber war. Uh, as we say in Washington, it's no longer a question uh, if you've been hacked, but when. And it's no longer a question uh, if you know that you've been hacked, uh, but more when you find out. It is critical not to let the bad guys win by taking advantage of this fragmented landscape around legal requirements. This is not about waiting for regulators to hit us over the head with a stick. This needs to be something that we voluntarily run towards the long-awaited rematch of Hacker versus Bank. Are you ready for a live demo? Red Team finds vulnerabilities, sees how the system responds. Our scribes here are capturing it, not from a background of financial services, from a background of artists who are just listening to the most interesting things and capturing them there. The customer has become key as the banking landscape changes. The customers, payment service customers, They've got Amazon, right? They, they know what one-click purchase is about. They want instant gratification. There's only two professions that I know of that use the word user as their primary way to talk about who they design for. Software development and illicit drugs. People aren't just customers. People aren't just users. People are people. They're humans. The gig economy is growing faster than any labor market. So when I need to buy a car and you ask me for my pay stub because your design of your product is irrelevant to the fundamental way I live my life. You can't provide me a service. Let's not fall in love with all these great new ideas if it doesn't generate value for our customers. And if we get that right, then we have some fundamental foundation blocks of a digital economy.